In case you missed parts one and two, we slept on the rim of Kilauea Crater, hiked through the Iki Crater Trail, hiked in the dark to see molten lava, seen where macadamia nuts are born, checked into the wrong hotel, drank some beer, drank some ciders, drank some seltzers, drank some cocktails, ate some swordfish, ate some sushi, had some poke, ate some more poke, and then had some more poke. We checked out some caves, checked out some waterfalls, and checked out a sunset at 13,800 feet atop of Mauna Kea. In this video, we are leaving the east side of the island and heading west. For the next eight nights, we'll be at the Hilton Waikoloa Village Resort. Here we will swim with the dolphins, lounge by the pools, and enjoy a luau. We will head south past Kona and snorkel at Two Step and visit the National Historical Park, followed by a day in downtown Kona. All right, ramblers, let's get rambling. Two stops on our way heading west. First stop, text drive in, Mala Sides. What do we got here, Joey? <laughs> so we're having Malasada as a text drive in. And, and so they're custom ordered. They're huge. It's like an amateur bun. <laughs> this one is Bavarian cream filled. Okay. These are so warm, they're hot, they come out fresh. Yeah, nice and warm. So you got a pineapple. Uh, pineapple filling is good. It's not that sickly sweet. It's actually tart. Fresh. Oh, good. Mm. <laughs> Our next stop is going to be Wapio Valley. Wapio Valley is a culturally significant site on the big island of Hawaii. It played a key role in the history of Hawaii, particularly during the reign of King Kamehameha I. He was also known as Kamehameha the Great and was a Hawaiian king who united the islands under a single kingdom in the late 18th and early 19th centuries. King Kamehameha I is said to have used Wapio Valley as a base for his campaigns to conquer the neighboring islands. He would assemble his armies in the valley and launch his attacks from there. He also used the valley as a place of refuge when he was pursued by his enemies. Today, Wapio Valley remains an important cultural site for native Hawaiians. It is a reminder of their ancestral roots and a symbol of their connection to the land and sea. Watch the dolphins come up here. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. I get to watch the dolphins come up here every day. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. And we're gonna do that tomorrow. Oh, they're so cute. Oh my gosh. And we get this view for the next eight nights and mornings. We're in the Makai room, Makai Tower. And uh, I decided last minute to pay for an upgrade and I have to say <laughs> solid decision. And then our room is right up there. What did it say? It says do not touch the turtle. Yep. Hanu, and don't touch Hanu. Sharp rocks, enter at your own risk. It's not saying you can't, I'm just oh. saying you're on your own. What is uh, this little area here? Oh, is this the chapel? This is the chapel. Oh, yeah. Renewals, why would people do that? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, right. I did it right the first time. I have a hundred dollar bill that says someone pushed in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet a thousand. I'll double that bet. Oh, the pool bar is only 10 to 5. Wow, good to know. Look at that guy. <laughs> Thank you. 
This is a very comfortable place. You, so far, we've only been here a couple hours, but I mean, that's all it took. Yeah, it took, us just it took five minutes. <laughs> My goodness, this place is just huge and beautiful. Ginger, a little ginger in there too. Oh, this is good. Well, this is a black sand, new. I've never had it before, and um, it tastes really good. It has a lot of flavor to it. It's really rich. It's a good porter, solid. So it's mommy. Yeah, yeah. Two in the mommy tacos. Yeah, this is. Kona Brewing. Kona yeah. Brewing Company here at the Hilton. How is that? Wonderful. Is there it's a flatbread. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Spinach and cheese. Yeah. And it's supposed to be a beer that's flavored after a Mai Tai. Yeah, orange, lime, and something else. Pineapple, pineapple. Pineapple, orange, and yeah, lime. Yeah, you can smell the citrus in there. So it's Heart, good. Uh, citrusy flavors are coming through. That's real good, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. See, that was a good surprise. Yeah, right, yeah. I thought you'd probably like that. Yeah, I think I'd like that over the half. dolphins. Okay, let's see how so, this goes. This is also why I booked here at the Hilton because they have the dolphin quest and you can book to spend some time with the dolphins so I'm excited. I hope they let us film this but if not we'll show you pictures. We'll see how it goes. Let's go. Hi. Hi. Good, how are you? Dolphins are Dolphin Quest is an interactive dolphin encounter program located at the Hilton Waikoloa Village Resort on the Big Island of Hawaii. It allows visitors to get up close and personal with dolphins in their natural habitat. Dolphin Quest at Hilton Waikoloa Village opened in 1988. In 1994, the first four dolphin calves were born. Personally, this experience was amazing. We were able to pet, feed, and swim with the dolphins. We were lucky and picked a day and time where we were the only people in the lagoon. So we were able to play some experimental games with the dolphins, and we had a lot of quality time getting to know and learn about their behaviors and the habitat. It was an experience we will never forget and of course recommend. We included a Dolphin Quest link below with more information. Oh, Hawaii, Mai Tai. Here you go. Oh, I love that matching Thank you very much. Mai Tai. Mai Tai number two. Oh. Uh -huh. yeah. Boom. Uh, it matches you. I can spell it all over me. Yeah. But no different. I just yeah. Mai Tai, you're going to see it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Spell it over my Are we ready to have a great time this evening? First pina colada, drink number three. <laughs> okay. Oh, aloha! <laughs> <laughs> That's the okay. Number four. Yeah. Too many desserts. My heart's racing. Yeah, I think this is the last one right here for me.
family, did you all have a nice time this evening? Yeah. Take the next left, then your destination will be on the right. It's a busy, it's a popular spot. Yeah, but you know, um, that was fine. But we needed to get here earlier though. But yeah, lots of late start. lots of fish, lots yeah. of lots of coral. You can see, yeah, you can see lots of fish. It was very clear. I mean, obviously this is the place to go. And then there's the entrance right there. Two, literally two steps is what they call it. Two steps. And then it was easy to park. because five bucks to park. Five dollars. The, the local church is out. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's for the churches. Anyway. Pretty happy. I'm glad we did this we snorkeled at a two step. Now we can say we snorkeled two step. Two step. To better immerse you in the authentic aspects of what we are and our worldview. Aspects of our culture that many of you would never be exposed to outside of the commercial tourism industry within your resorts. That was a wonderful talk. Did you? Yeah, that, yeah, that was, was amazing. Pu'uhu Noa Ohanaunau National Historical Park is a sacred site that once was a place of refuge for those who violated kapu, or ancient Hawaiian laws. The park includes a large stone-walled enclosure known as the Pu'uhu Noa, which housed the royal grounds and the temple. Inside the Pu'uhu Noa are several reconstructed thatched holly, or houses, that visitors can enter and explore. Visitors can also see a collection of carved wooden images known as ki'i, that represent the gods and ancestors of the Hawaiian people. Maps are available for self-guided tour, and we'll have a description for each numbered location. If you're a little more tech savvy, you can always download the app. This provides audio descriptions of the locations as well. As well as smaller depressions called Togo. Earlier, during the ranger talk, he talked about how people, for various reasons, would be put to death. One, because it, if you did something really wrong, like for instance, if you weren't supposed to be fishing at the time because there was spawning going on and you got caught fishing, you would be sentenced to death. Or men and women eaten together. Or men and women eaten together, various reasons that people would be sentenced to death. So, they had one other opportunity and that was swimming across all this channel and coming at the coming to this spot right here and if you didn't get eaten by a bunch of sharks and you're able to swim strong and get to here then they figured the gods were allowing you to have a second chance at life until you were allowed to Pu'u Anua. yeah Pu'u Anua? Pu'u Anua. Yeah. Where, you get a, where you get to wipe the slate clean and start over again providing you live to get to here We were very fortunate in the timing of our visit. We were able to see one of the presentations by the park rangers, who is a direct descendant of the Hawaiian Ali'i. Make sure to include this National Historical Park on your next visit to the Big Island of Hawaii. Like 10 spots. Oh, that's good. <laughs> 
is this for this trip? <laughs> the the world rocks. famous Huggos on the Rocks Mai Tai. She talked it up and they're delivered. Yeah, but then again, I was at a luau and they make those fast, quick. Those were, yeah, those were, and barely a splash of booze yeah. in those. This is so. delicious, yeah. And, and they, then, look at this. I just have a long board. Yeah, no Mai Tais for me. Incredible. One ton skins on the, on the poke. This one, yeah. Like, I prefer the wonton skins over like the chips, a little yeah. lighter. Yeah, you're here for the poke, not really the chips, huh? And you got a little spicy, smoky sauce on this. No, oh, well done. Good. Yeah. I just want to show how big this thing is. Whipped cream, a lot of dairy, a lot of cows sacrificed. So this is uh, kind of a version of hula pie, but they call this the, is it the Mauna Loa or Mauna Kea? Mauna Loa? Mauna Kea. Mauna Kea pie yeah. here at Huggo's. So ice cream, hot fudge, whipped cream, macadamia nuts, and a cookie crust. And a cookie. belly egg. Yeah. So basically Huggo's, completely full stuff. Completely <laughs> full. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of ice cream. It was a lot of ice cream, much, yeah. a little too much ice cream, but it was it was kind of a treat. So we're getting ready for the Iron Man here. And I just mentioned the Iron Man is uh, done here. We're gonna find where it begins and ends. It's coming up here, and it's in about a week or two from now. So everybody's out here getting acclimated and warming up. Take it with you. Oh, here's those <laughs> things we ran out of. Ron, do you think you might want some salty balls or some dirty balls? Or some dingleberries? How about no nuts? Balls with no nuts? Ooh, there's balls of fire with cayenne pepper and stuff in them. Or a ball. Or like yeah. this. This is for your chicken. Bus. Walking through Kona is walking through Hawaii's history. Across the street is Molo Aikoa Church. It is Kona's oldest Christian church. The Hulihe'e Palace was built in 1838 by Governor John Adams Kuakini. In 1884, the palace was purchased by King David Palakua. After Kalakoa's death in 1891, his sister Queen Lili Ukulani inherited the palace. In 1927, the Daughters of Hawaii, a historical preservation society, leased the palace and restored it to its former glory. Right here. This starts, this is the official swim start and run finish with Ironman. Not only is Molokua Church Kona's oldest church, but it is also Kona's tallest structure in the area. But this is the tap house, yeah. Let's even go upstairs. Nice little corner. Nice. Big Isle Golden Sabbath. Oh, it's Belgian. It's it's definitely a Belgian style, yeah. Belgian yeah, I can, style. I can look at it. Yeah, it's, it's heavy. It's not a, it could be a, like a high octane uh, season on. Mm. Big Island Brew House. Brew House up north here on the Big Island. And this is the um, White Mountain Porter. All right, I think they're in Mamea. There's a lot of flavor in that. A little hoppy, but it's thick and rich. I mean, it's All more right. of a dessert beer for later on, but yeah. it's good. All right. What you got going on here? Mimosa Sour. Mimosa Sour. Since, uh, just, uh, oh, New Belgium. Is that uh, uh, Colorado, I believe? That's good. Uh, 
This is the Kuva, and this is Kava. This is Kava. Kava, and it is a earthly drink that is leaking. It tastes exactly like mud. It tastes like <laughs> mud puddle, and it looks like mud puddle, but it's a little bitter. It's like if I was drinking a mud puddle, that probably tastes better. This is like mud puddle with. But it's like, like medicinal. Food. It's to help with anxiety. It's. I can feel my tongue going numb a little bit. Your receptors in your brain perform like alcohol, but not have all the impairments of alcohol. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to let all your brain synapses fire in a, in a good manner, but it smells like mud. So Jody's gonna have her. My kava that I had to have. Mud drink. Are you ready? Bitter. Is it bitter? It's bitter. Yeah. It's like a, it's bitter. It's like a. It reminds me of a tea, like a black tea, or like not even quite a black tea, because I'm not. A, I don't love tea. Yeah. But it has a lot of benefits. So I just wanted, we'll I wanted to try it. <laughs> we'll see. That, that, that's what Let's they say. Let's go drive up to Mauna Kea and we'll see. Yeah. yeah. yeah I like that. Shirt. I like a nice, long sleeve, loose fitting running okay. shirt. We need advisors just to... Something lighter to wear. A little cooler, right. Then Jody, you got the yeah. Hawaiian one here full of Aloha. And there's reflectors on it. Yeah, my lips are still numb. My, our lips are numb. We just went to Kava. <laughs> we just had yeah. Kava for the first time. We went yeah. Say, yeah, so our lips are numb, our tongues are numb. Um, but it was good and we'll know more because it's supposed to give some kind of, in, in, you know, yeah. mellow, yeah, we'll find low out. anxiety effect. Yeah, it's a good job to take it because we have a 40 minute drive ahead of us. So <laughs> best to take some unknown mud. Piece yeah, of you know, if we get, you know, yeah. we'll, we'll let you know. <laughs> yeah. This will be the last video. This is the last time they were ever seen. 